Yes. Report. Heavy, let us adjourn to a tavern cellar immediately. There is an insult <laughs> we must see to. Yo! Captain, I am offended. Nay, outraged. I was having a jovial discussion with the local townsfolk, and I told them about the Seven. Now, hear this! The Eagles had the nerve to say that I, Buffalo Bill, savior of Tumbleweed and scourge of the Wild Bunch, am not a hero. Not a hero, I say. Indeed, none of us, not even dear departed Wyatt, can be called heroes, because we are not bold enough. Not grand enough, not eagle enough. Mendacity! Before I could challenge them to duels of honor, the eagles mentioned a contest of champions. I mean to win it and show them all. Let's ask Hawkrates about it. Well, hello again. What can I do for you today? Existential dilemma? Unanswerable enigma? Shall we debate? The contest of champions? Ambitious. I don't think they'll let you compete. You're no eagle after all. They're far too proud of themselves. But as I always say, the important thing is not to live, but to live well. Go talk to Pindar by the Colosseum. Maybe he'll make an exception. The contest of champions. You haven't missed it. The winner will be announced here before long. Partake of the wonders of the city in the meantime. What? You come not to watch the contest, but to compete? <laughs> Your zeal does you credit, but you must not be from around here. Only the finest heroes of Aquiline blood, kin to the very immortals, have any hope of finishing the three contests and winning the prize. Why... I'm not sure a foreigner has ever competed at all. Such things are against the rules, I expect. I see. Hiding behind the rules, are we? Afraid of some real competition. I see how it is. I'm certain exceptions could be made. A test. Our victory wreaths were plundered by vulture pirates. Bring them back and you will compete. Our ante, time to raise the stakes. Back to Pindar. Well done. You may have the makings of a hero after all. The contest has already begun. Are you sure you want to begin at a disadvantage? Are you merely polite or are you going deaf? How many times must I tell you I intend to join your confounded contest? Yes, yes, and yes! So be it. All heroes must excel at defeating monsters. The first contest is the Great Hunt. Report to Orion in Caledonia. You are here for the contest. Beware, for only the mightiest can hope to succeed. The monsters that haunt these hills are fearsome. I'm sure they are, but I expect I've seen worse. You are bold, Outlander. <laughs> I like that. Very well. The first challenge is to hunt down and defeat a dread manticore. They lair in caves. 
When you've defeated one, take its claws to Pindar as token of your success. I fear you're doomed, but the immortals favor the foolish. Look here. I think those are manticore prints. Shall we track them to a cave? Captain, I think you and I had best take it from here. I won't have those eagles saying I cheated. Yes, sir. Absolutely.
That's done. A mighty beast indeed. The first trial is complete. Let's get back to Pindar. Ah, oh, you've returned. Hard day. Oh, you did it! Not expected! But I must warn you, there are two contests left, and they will grow more difficult. If I didn't have to deal with your petty concerns, I'd be doing the next contest already! Proceed! As you wish. For the second contest, bring back the Golden Laurel Wreath from Sparta. It's an archery contest. You're very late. Here for the archery contest? You're too late! I've just won it! Win the next contest, and perhaps you'll have a chance. Perhaps I will. Good thing I was late for this one, isn't it? Good thing for you, anyway. Which of us is the better warrior? We'll never know. <laughs> you doubt my prowess? Very well. Since you are incapable of archery, I will give you a chance. You want this prize? Fight me for it. Surely a barbarian like you will excel at that. I'll give you the wreath if you can beat me. A duel! I accept. Sure thing. I am beaten. Here, I give you the prize. You are a foreigner. You know nothing of bows. This was your intent from the start. You tricked me! I did. And you fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Come along, Captain. Let's take this trophy back to Pindar. Wreath? I fear you are disqualified. You did not win the archery contest. Now, just one minute. You never told me to win any archery contest. You told me to bring back the wreath. And this I have done by thunder. Do you mean to play this contest fairly? Only so that eagles have any chance of winning. Are you afraid of real competition? I see. You may not have the blood of eagles, but you are as clever as Ulysses. So be it. The terms of the contest are honored. Now for the last contest. A foot race over all of Ilios to gather golden apples. Whoever takes the most wins. Atalante will tell you more. A foot race. Oh dear.
another runner? You're very late. I fear most of the apples have been taken. In fact, there aren't any left in the regular course at all. <sighs> Greetings, stranger. You are bold and cunning. A worthy opponent. But I fear the race is run. I have three apples. The only way to gather more would be to take them from the Ettins in Yon Cave. The brutes have wandered off with so many. Find Ettins instead of run all over these hills? My knees are thankful. Now, where is this cave? Say. Crush, little ones. Crush them all. How did I know they'd refuse? are gathered. Let's take them home. I do not believe it. The deed is done. This year, the contest of champions is won by an outlander. What a display of might, guile, and virtue. You have struggled and persevered, strange one, and now you have earned the prize. Indeed. And what might that be? The right to climb the peaks of Akia and sacrifice yourself to Typhon the Terror. Your virtuous death will keep Aquila safe for another year. What? You mean you didn't ask what the prize was before you joined the contest? You people need to be a little more detail-oriented. If you refuse, you will be reviled as a coward and a liar throughout the Empire. If it's any consolation, if you defeat Typhon, he'll let you live and his tyranny will end. But that's impossible. Typhon is invincible. Coward? Liar? Never! I shall defeat this Typhon and win. That you say it's impossible is the reason I am certain. Maybe there's a legend about how to defeat Typhon. Let's go ask Daedalus. Where? Oh, I see. You mean to fight him, eh? They say the hot blood of a titan flows in his veins. Indeed. Typhon is so hot that nobody can face him without fainting from the heat or bursting into flame. There's only one thing that might help. The Aegis, an enchanted amulet forged by Hephaestus Coppersmith himself. 
It was lost with General Cadmus, who led his legion into doom in Ilios. Cadmus and his legion went into the Caves of Ruin, hunting Ophidians. They never came back. Find him, and you'll find the Aegis. Charming. Forward. Consider it done. Give me a minute. Absolutely. Will do. Sure thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Of course. <laughs> And it is very fine. Now, it's time to deal with Typhon. Lovely place. It's full of Typhon's victims. Mercy! It's Miranda all over again. We'll have to fight our way through. Your orders, so be it. Sure thing.
to meet your doom, monster! Absolutely. Glory, <laughs> 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 
Hallelujah. The deed is done. Let's show these eagles what real heroes look like. Typhon is defeated. Amazing. You are more than a champion, friend Outlander. You are a legend. As everyone in Cool Ranch already knows. But thank you. When it comes to the definition of a hero, I am glad to expand your horizons. The poets will write epics about you, the rude barbarian who toppled Typhon. I'd be careful who I called rude if I were you. An epic about this contest would be a fine thing, but I'd rather hear one about my friend Wyatt. Well, Captain, I think we've done our good deed for the day. Let's adjourn to a tavern cellar. I do declare that was fun. More than worth it to see the looks on those birds' faces when we beat out their best and brightest. Now, onward! No we! <laughs> Yo, your orders. <laughs> <laughs> 